Spurs got absolutely humbled by Manchester United, losing 3-0. They were outclassed in that game, and as a result, Nuno has been sacked. It is kind of funny to think that if Manchester United would have lost that game, Ole probably would have been sacked, and we'd be doing a 10-season takeover with Manchester United. But that's not happened. Spurs took the L, they've sacked Nuno, and guess what? They're hiring Antonio Conte. How mad is that? You can put me a fine, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, well, today's video, we're going to be doing the Antonio Conte Spurs takeover for 10 seasons. Yup, we're going to be sitting here for 10 seasons trying to win trophies with Spurs. I know, difficult challenge, but we're going to make it happen. You guys absolutely loved last week's Arsenal takeover, and that's why we've made it a weekly series on Tuesdays kind of makes sense Tuesday takeover and if you guys want to continue seeing this happen I need to see the support 8,000 likes and we'll take over another club next week so let's hope you guys can smash that subscribe as well there's daily career mode content coming your way let's get into the video last week we did this with Arsenal and you guys absolutely loved it so we're back again with the 10 seasons takeover series 10 seasons to glory we can make three transfers per season we got to simulate every single game and the end goal is to create a dynasty we're going to be trying to fill up this trophy cabinet I know Spurs' trophy cabinet is empty but hey we're going to change that by the end of these 10 seasons. We'll also be keeping tabs of like all the stats in terms of our top goal scorer and top assister throughout the 10 seasons, which is always fun. So here we go, guys. 10 seasons to win as many trophies as possible with Spurs. The Antonio Conte team challenge. Let's do it. Season 1 begins. It's quite clear where the team really excels. It's the attackers. Now, I know Kane kind of wants to leave Spurs, but for this challenge, I kind of just want to keep him. A 90-rated striker, he's going to give us good four or five seasons. We won't have to worry about goals at all for the first few seasons. I mean, yeah, it just makes sense. Even in real life, Daniel Levy has managed to keep hold of him, so why not? We'll keep Kane. Son, as well, is a pretty important player for everything we do, so those two are so important. The rest of the team is where we need improvements. 100% a defender is needed. Probably a right winger as well. Maybe improvements in that camp spot as well. A lot to do, guys. A lot to do. But remember, we can only make three transfers per season. So, yup, that's a bit tricky. Well, I thought Spurs used to have more of a transfer budget, but only 65 million to spend for the first season. Kind of realistic because, yeah, Daniel Levy. Everything all right? Remember, guys, this challenge requires us to make signings, not just for the current situation, but for like 10 seasons. So the younger players we bring in that are good, the longer we'll get out of them. So that's why I'm thinking Lacroix for that centre-back position might be clutch. Talk about some good transfer business. I'm seeing if I can offer Deli Alley and like 13 million for Lacroix. That seems like a smart deal. 5% sell-on clause works for me. Deli Alley, I'm not too keen on him. He... He was so good like a few years ago. Remember one of his goals against Crystal Palace, but he's dropped off massively. We'll just use him in this deal to get Lacroix. And there you go, guys. We've actually made that signing. A top-class centre-back joining us with development plans. Few seasons down the line, I think he's going to be insane. I just realised Christian Romero is on loan at Spurs. We need to settle that by option. We're going to count this as a transfer as well. We need to settle this as soon as possible rather than delaying it. So... 50.7 million for Christian Romero. We're going to pay it, guys, because I want him permanently at Spurs. So we've made our couple of signings for this window. I'll keep maybe one signing for the January window. But if you look at the team, it's okay. I think I think completing that Romero signing early on was needed. Lacroix as well is going to just keep getting better. I love the team. I absolutely do. But the ratings on the back line does give me a bit of a scare. We don't really have a backup for Kane. Maybe that's what we'll invest in in January, a backup option for Harry Kane. For now, that's the team we've got. I've loaned out a lot of the youngsters and let's see how things go for us. By the way, Spurs are not in the Champions League, not even in the Europa League, but in the mighty Conference League. At least this is a chance for us to win a trophy early on. Yeah, that's all I can say about this. If we don't win this, it'll be embarrassing. Okay, I don't like this. Halfway through the season, we're outside the top four. We're even behind Arsenal. With Kane and Son, that's kind of embarrassing, you know. We're seven points off top four. I know the level that Man United, Liverpool, City and Chelsea have is crazy, but still, this is not good. We need to at least be above Arsenal. Ah, okay, so seems like Hugo Lloris has submitted a transfer request. I think it's more down to the fact 
that his contract is expiring. Wow, okay, that's interesting now. That is very interesting. Hmm, I think we gotta renew it. I, I think we 100%, but if I can renew it for less wages... Oh, we can! 84,000, so we've renewed Hugo Lloris for another season. At some point, we'll need to replace him. Maybe we'll start the process next season. As I said, I kind of wanted to get an improvement over Lucas Mora, and I didn't expect to do this, but we've literally done a swap deal with Leeds United. I've given Lucas Mora plus 33 million and brought in Rafinha. At the moment, you could make arguments that he's the best Brazilian in the world. Like, that that's actually a thing. People are actually saying that. So, a player of that quality. Oh, Rafinha on one side, Son on the other, Kane up top. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's 25 as well, nearing his prime. I don't think we can go wrong with this. We put development plans on him and he will just keep getting better. What a signing. All right, guys, that's our three signings done for this season one. We improved the defense like maybe Conte would. Brought in Rafinha for Lucas Mora. And now we're going to sim until the end of the season and see if we can win some silverware. All right, guys. So at the end of the season, we've certainly made improvements, but only two points off Arsenal. I hate that they finished above us, but oh well. We're six points off top four. Sixth in the first season. We really could have done better, I presume, especially with having players like Kane and Son. We should be achieving a bit more, but it is what it is. FA Cup goes to Leicester City. Carabao Cup goes to Liverpool. And now, the moment of truth, have we won the UEFA Europa Conference League? It'd be tragedy if we haven't. Wow, we couldn't even win this. Who did we get knocked out to? We didn't even reach the semi-finals. 5-3 to Monaco. I can't believe it. Spurs are cursed. They can't win a trophy to save their lives. I thought at least this we'd be able to win. Oh my god. UEFA Europa Conference League, we got knocked out in the quarters with the team that we've got. That's mental. Stats-wise, Harry Kane top scorer by a big, big margin. I am not even surprised. 27 for him. Son did really well with 22. Bergwijn coming in with 9. But it was mostly Kane and Son carrying the team. Rafinha had a good second half of the season. Look at his stats in the Conference League. Did well. Assist-wise, Kane's our top assist to two. Incredible from Harry Kane. At some point in this save, Kane will be sold. Probably when he's like 31. When we can get the maximum money out of him. But yeah, until then, we're going to make use of him. And hopefully we can get Kane some silverware with Spurs. Son as well, because these two deserve it, man. Absolutely do. By the way, if you're wondering why am I not using a youth academy or the homegrown player, I thought for once... Let's try doing this challenge without the homegrown player to just give ourselves a bit more difficulty because usually that gives us directly a player that we can use for all the 10 seasons that's super high rated. Just for this one, we're ignoring the academy. Okay guys, this game has lost its mind. PSG have just won the Europa League. How did this even happen? I I'm, I'm lost. No trophies in the first season, but we're still keeping track of the stats. Kane top scorer with 27. And he is also our top assister so far after the first season with 10 assists. Can't wait to see how the stats progress. All right, guys, season two begins now and we got to do better. No trophies in the first season. We got to make most of the time we've got with Kane and Son in their prime. This season, I reckon I'm, I'm happy with the defense. By the way, a lot of players on international duty. I reckon we'll make an incredible signing for that cam spot. And we should be good to go. Also kind of want to improve a bit of squad depth by maybe signing a backup striker. That's something we might do. So yeah, it's going to be hopefully an exciting season where we can finally start winning silverware. Because truth be told, I think we've got the squad to do exactly that. We've got about 80 million to spend this season. Let's do it. Okay, plans have changed. I just realized Golini, who was at Atalanta, is or was only on loan at our club. Hugo Lloris is going down in his overall rapidly. Could be his final season. I think we'll need to sign Golini. I don't mind having him. He's 85 rated, 27, nearing his prime. Makes sense to get him, guys. But it's going to be an expensive signing and it might make it difficult for us to bring in a cam. So let's just see. I, I definitely want to sign Golini, though. And there you go, guys. We've got our goalkeeper in Golini. Someone new. Someone I haven't used before. I like that. I quite like that. He's going to be our starter for this season as we put Hugo Lloris on the bench, sadly. But with this signing, would we have enough money to make any more transfers? I'm not sure. We'll maybe have to sell a few players here and there. I've just sold Eric Dyer and also loan agreement for Rodon. I don't think we need to have four centre-backs. 
So, yep, Dyer for like 20 million will give us the cash we need to bring in a cam. In fact, you guys should actually see that we're, we're going to be loaning out a lot of youngsters. So, I'm just, just letting you guys know who those players are. Players like Dominic Scarlett, I want to try and loan out. Clark as well. All these guys could be useful at the latter stages of this challenge. Pape Matasar as well. We're going to try and loan him out. Rodon as well. Tanganga's already on loan at uh, Porto and he's doing really well. So it's smart to do this so that we get them to a high rating and high potential and whatever. And in the latter stages of this challenge, they'll be very useful. Now that's what I call a transfer. Lucas Paqueta from Olympique Lyon joined Spurs. Already a Brazilian compatriot in Rafinha. I think Paqueta will be an incredible transfer. We had to dish out all the cash we've got for him. 72 million. I told y'all I was looking to get a world-class cam. I don't think you can get quite better than Paqueta. Incredible stats. Already 85 rated. Only 24. The room to grow is crazy. Love this signing, guys. Absolutely love this signing. Problem is, I don't think we're left with any money to make any more signings, even in January. But oh well. I think we've considerably improved our team. Last season, we were forced to use Ndombele at camp. This season, Paqueta there is a lot better. I think the overall team is just a lot more insane. I'm loving it. We are lacking squad depth, like a backup striker potentially, maybe a four-choice defender, a right mid or something like that. But I think the squad is capable of winning trophies. I really think so. And let's hope we can do that. I'll catch you guys at the end of the season to see where we're at in season two. I refuse to believe this man. For two seasons in a row, we've been stuck in the conference league and we're unable to win it. Are we literally going to end up not winning this trophy at all? Wow, Wolfsburg and Benfica in the final. Where did we get knocked out? In the quarters. You're kidding me, man. Knocked out to Wolfsburg. That is just... Oh, with the team we've got as well. How are we not... End I think at this point, we might go through the 10 seasons and not end up winning any trophy. Like, that's mad. Carabao Cup goes to Everton. Everton have won a trophy before us. Like, yeah. FA Cup goes to West Ham. Arsenal are re reaching finals and we're struggling. What's happening in the Premier League, though? Let's take a look. Wait, what? Yo, we've just won the league. Out of nowhere, we've won the Premier League, guys. Hey, we've won a trophy. How did we end up losing the Conference League, but end up winning the Prem? That makes no sense. We'll take it, though. We've just won the Premier League, guys. Hey, let's go. First trophy secured, and it's a big one. Two seasons in, we've won the Prem League. Just what we need. Confidence will be huge. We'll be in the Champions League next season. None of that. None of that Conference League stuff, boys. Come on. Let's go. I can't wait for Champions League. But Premier League, I want to see the stats. Oh, Harry Kane, you absolutely beautiful human being. 34 goals from him this season. Mental. Hugman Son added another 31. Big seasons from the two. Harry Kane scored 30 in 37 in the Prem. That is just absurdly good. Assist-wise, we've got Son coming in with 14. Big season from him. We're making use there, Prime. At least we got a trophy with Kane. He deserved that Premier League trophy. We've only got a couple of seasons with Son and Kane, probably. And we need to make the most of them. Son with 14 assists. Kane with 7. Let's go. What do you look at that? The Premier League is added to our cabinet. None of that Spurs not winning trophies jokes. Two seasons in. That's a big trophy to win. And also look at the stats. Kane is our top scorer with 61 goals. And Son coming in with 19 assists. Let's go. Time for season 3. And this is where I guess the takeover challenge starts getting tricky because we need to replace some of the veterans. Now that we've won the Premier League, I feel like Harry Kane and Son's era at Spurs, we could consider that over. They've, they've completed their story of winning something with the club and it was the Premier League. So I'm going to start accepting offers, big, big offers for Son and Kane if they come to get the most money possible to bring in the biggest replacement possible. So stay tuned to see what happens in that sense. Apart from that, this season, I reckon signings wise, just got improved squad depth. I want a backup striker. That's 100% for sure. Apart from that, we got to prepare soon for Hugo Lloris retiring at the end of the season. And that's my Windows PC going off. But anyways, I'm excited for this season. Let's see if we can continue winning trophies. Maybe do well in the Champions League. Let's see. Oh, good thing is 160 million to spend. Oh boy. So guys, we've just signed that backup striker I was looking for. It's, he's called Hlocek. Adam Hlocek. 
48 million pounds for him from Czech Republic. Top class signing, 81 rated. He's only 20. He's gonna be the next Harry Kane for us, I guess. Love it. Absolutely love it. That's why we had to pay 48 million for him. But long term, this is the kind of signing that's gonna keep us at the top in these takeover videos. We need to keep that in mind too. As I said, it's time to accept offers for Harry Kane. Let him try something at a different club but we're not going to be stupid about it we're going to try and get the maximum money possible if not we'll wait and sell him next season we're not in a rush to get rid of Kane so I'm going to counter crazy money 250 million if you can let me have 250 million for Kane that's fine perfect they're willing to go up to 189 mm, that's good money that is very good money guys no denying it absolutely no denying it but we want the maximum money possible for Kane because we're not forced to sell him. I don't mind keeping him this season and going for the Champions League. So 230 million is my counter. They're willing to go up to 200. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go up to 210. 210. Come on. That's... Uh, they're willing to go with it. Oh my god. We're actually going to be selling Harry Kane. Uh, then that means this season we won't try and sell Hyungman's son. 210 million for Harry Kane. This takeover series has now just taken a big turn. We need to replace Harry Kane. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see if the deal goes through though. Harry Kane to Bayern Munich. They're probably looking for a Robert Lewandowski replacement. Oof, this was insane. The money we'll be getting for him is nuts. Yep, guys. Harry Kane, the top scorer of basically this challenge so far, is gone. 61 goals for us, a Premier League title. Time to say goodbye to Kane. We're keeping Son for this season because I don't want to have to replace both of them in the same season. But now with this insane money that we've been funded with, we need to bring in a striker. I definitely want to have a bit of a Conte twist on it. So I want to sign a former Conte player, Lautaro Martinez. He fits literally everything what Conte loves about a player. Hardworking, incredible work rate, the pressing... And he's 100 million worth. Oh boy, we're going to replace Kane with Lautaro Martinez, guys. And we'll have to bring out the checkbook for this one. I'm going to start with straight up 100 million for Lautaro Martinez. They won 169. Oh boy, we're going to counter with 130. Just trying to get the best deal possible. We'll still be left with 168 million. Like, what even is going on? I'll accept the 140 million offer. This is how you replace a world beater in Kane. And there you go. Lautaro Martinez has been signed. Kane has been replaced by a former Antonio Conte man. Let's see how this goes. Fun fact, Lautaro Martinez and Conte had a bit of a tussle in the training ground. And then they decided to settle it with a boxing match. Friendly, of course, but that's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Can this Spurs side still cope without Kane? That's the question. Soon we'll have to replace Son as well, which is not going to be easy. But hey, for now, let's just see what we can achieve this season. I think we've got still left with a lot of money, but I don't really want to make any signings. I love the team that we've got. Let's see what we can win this season. I don't think I'm making signings in January. The squad depth is very, very good as well for the team. There's no need to really do much. Let's sim until the end of the season and see what we can achieve in the competitions like the Champions League and the Prem. No Kane for the first time. It's going to make it interesting to see the top scorer charts and all at the end. Oh, by the way, Community Shield final against West Ham. We're not really taking this all too seriously because it's the Community Shield, but still would be nice to win it. And we do. That's another trophy, but it's not a serious one. All right, so end of season three. It was a big season transition year, could you say? I mean, selling Kane and buying Lautaro, I think we've done well for the replacement part, but couldn't win the Premier League with that. Came a bit close, I'd say. Man City edg edged us with a five-point gap. So no Premier League title for us this season. It goes to City. We did win the Community Shield, if you do remember. FA Cup. Everton end up winning it. Carabao Cup, did we get that? No, Aston Villa. What about the Champions League? Bayern and Atalanta in the final. Who do we get knocked out to? We got knocked out to Atalanta. It's the history of the Tottenham. We literally... Oh, man, that's... Oh, in the quarterfinals, 4-3. That's a real bummer, man. We could have made it to the final then. How did Atalanta get there? I've got no idea, but oh well. Another trophy-less season, though, but heung -min Son still delivering. I reckon I want to keep him for a couple more seasons. He's 94 rated, guys. Even if he starts going down in his overall, he'll still be 90+. plus. That's just mad. 94 rated Son. Another 30-goal season. Lautaro. 
I think we've done a great job of replacing Kane. He's bagged in 30 goals. Rafinha with that injury right now sucks, but he still scored 14 and he played quite a bit games for us. Paqueta with 9 goals, 14 assists. And Klojek off the bench did a fairly decent job as well. Brian Gill continues to grow. Not too bad. Three seasons in and Hugmin Son has overtaken Kane for the top scorer charts. 91 goals for him in three seasons from that left mid spot. Incredible. He's our top assister as well. For now, the Prem is the only trophy we've got in these three seasons. But there's a long way to go. Our squad is capable. I reckon soon we'll be starting to win more trophies consistently. Season 4 begins and I kind of want to keep the core of this team the same because I feel like what do we do with improvements? I'm not ready to sell Son yet. Players like Hoiberg, although are nearing 30, they're still in their prime. There really isn't a need to replace anyone. I reckon we can still win good trophies with this team. What I do want to do though is sign a backup right back because Doherty has left the club. That's probably the only signing I'm going to make. Cash now isn't a concern. We've, we've basically got as much money as we need, so that's great. But money doesn't buy trophies, man. We've seen three seasons in, only the Premier League is what we've won. Okay, guys, this might sound like a completely stupid transfer, but I'm thinking, why not bring back Kyle Walker to Spurs? We've anyway got Emerson who's going to be the starting right back. Walker will give us a bit of experience, plus he'll be back at his former club Spurs. Why not? Oh, Kyle Walker still has 90 sprint speed. Hey, that is mad. That is actually mad. How? At that age, at 34, he's still a very good right back. So I completely forgot that Hugo Lloris had retired. So we're, we're in desperate need for a backup keeper. Just signed Lunin, 80 rated. Can't go wrong with that. So as I said, we've not made major changes to the starting 11 because I think this team is as complete as it gets. And we need to make use of it. This is not like the fixing series where we got to just win the Champions League and it's done. We got to make use of this era of Spurs players. Romero and Tanganga at the back. By the way, loaning Tanganga out for a few seasons was clutch because now I converted him to a centre-back and his stats are just insane. Um, yeah, we've got to make most of this era and try and win as many trophies as possible. So let's him until the end and see if we can do big things in Season 4. Okay, guys, how on earth with that team have we not at least given a title challenge? It's, it's honestly incredible how we haven't. 73 points... We're, we're eight points off Chelsea. I just don't get it. Like, huh, at least we're getting into the Champions League for next season. But we could get sacked at this rate. We did win a trophy. That's good. The Carabao Cup. Let's go. Our second trophy in four seasons. But we've done it. FA Cup. I don't think we've won it. Champions League. I saw my board expectations. So I know we haven't made the final. Ah, not the semi-final. We got PSG. Can't really complain. If you get PSG and get knocked out, it is what it is. But yeah, disappointing season. Four seasons in, Hugmin Son is starting to go down. He's gone down by a couple of ratings. Ah, he still popped in with a 29-goal season, but it might be time to look at replacements as much as it hurts. Four seasons in, Kane's gone. Son might be gone too. Oh boy, I hate it, man. I hate it. But next season, we might have to get that sorted. But again, Son was the star performer for this season. Lautaro Martinez, 25 goals. I, if I was putting money on someone finishing top scorer at the end of the challenge, my money right now looks like on Lautaro Martinez because Son will be gone by the end of this season. Paqueta, Rafinha, all with good season. Assist why Son still keeps doing well. So does Rafinha and Paqueta too. Stats wise, Son has taken over the top scorer charts and he's crossed 100 goals in four seasons. To score 120 in four seasons is certainly commendable. Assist wise, 44 assists as well. He's our top assister, but this might be the last season with him. I'm really glad that we won at least a few trophies with Son and Kane. Son this time leading the team to a Carabao Cup, so two trophies, but it still feels very less. We need to be doing more. You know what, guys? I'm still not ready to say goodbye to Son. I want to keep him for another season. I want to win a major trophy before saying goodbye to Son. So I think instead of selling Son this season, we're going to just focus on improving that defense even more. Because Tanganga or Lacroix just aren't growing anymore. Let's just get a better center back, someone super high rated. And I reckon that should be enough to win us some trophies in season five. That's the approach. We'll keep replacing Son for next season. What are we working with in terms of money? 300 million. We can sign anyone we want. You know what, guys? I just want to go crazy. 
I want to sign a defender that's going to guarantee us trophies, and that's Matthias De Ligt. Controversial because he is currently out injured, but but does that mean we might get a good deal on him? If that's if that's the case, brilliant. 100 million is what I'm offering. They want Lo Celso. I'm not giving y'all Lo Celso. Get out of here. I don't want to give Lo Celso. We'll offer 113 million to Brendan. And that's worked. I think we're getting a deal on De Ligt because of the fact that he's injured. He'll be back in four weeks. So he should be there for the start of next season or this season, actually. There you go. 90 rated center back signed in Matthias De Ligt. I swear if this season we don't win some major trophies, I'll be fuming. Honestly, guys, just how good is this team? Like... How have we just won two trophies in four seasons? This season, that changes. Oh, this is going to put me in two minds. A 133 million offer for Heung-Min Son. But I want to keep him. One last season with Son. He's been so good. I want to keep him for one last season, boys. We're going to do that. Anyways, guys, the squad is all set. Two 90-rated centre-backs now. There's no way we're not winning trophies. We've got five, yep, five 90-plus rated players. Please, we got to win big trophies and let's actually get ahead of the Champions League quarterfinals. Like, this team should be reaching the final. I, I swear if we don't win the Premier League this season with two 90-rated centre-backs, this game... Ah, uh, don't even know what to say. We haven't. We've lost the league by one point. This is just agonising pain. Ha! Huh, five seasons in and we've only won the Premier League title once. Did we win anything else? FA Cup goes to Man United. Carabao Cup at least, that goes to Chelsea, we're going trophy less again, are you kidding me? Champions League, we're in the final, okay, okay, finally our first Champions League final, and RB Leipzig is beatable, we can win the Champions League, oh my god, finally, we knocked out the likes of Real Madrid, Hertha Berlin, and who else did we knock out? Borussia Dortmund 6 0. So we deserve to be here. All right, boys, let's do this. I want to win this. I'm desperate to win this. Son has only gone down by one. We might be able to get another season out of him. Just saying, I want to use him for as much as I can. Anyways, Champions League final against Leipzig. Please, 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 please. Bruh. I can't believe this. I genuinely can't. How on earth have we lost this? To RB Leipzig, this was probably one of the best shots we'd got to win the Champions League. Spurs, just keep doing a Spurs. Yup. Stats wise, Hyungman Sean keeps delivering. The team keeps letting him down, I guess. 155 goals. He's also our top assister. Trophy wise, um, we should have that Champions League over there. Probably a Premier League title too, but it is what it is. Five seasons down the line and our trophy cabinet reeks. Um, yeah, we need to step things up in the last five seasons. We're coming into season six after taking an L in the Champions League and having to rebuild a little bit because Hyungman Son, it's time to replace him. As sad as it is, we need to do it now. Huh, I hate doing this, but yeah, we're going to accept the transfer offer that comes for him and let's see how much we get for him. We need to bring in a replacement. Also, we need a right back as Kyle Walker has retired. So those are the couple of signings we're going to figure out. The rest of the team for now, I reckon we keep it as is. Few players are getting old, like of course, Endombele is nearing 30. Hoiberg is already 30 at some point. We'll have to replace him. But for this season, I think Son and that right back should have us covered. The board should back us since we did make the Champions League final. Yep, we've got unlimited funds to sign whoever we want for that left mid position. Okay, so I just noticed Marcus Rashford's contract's expiring. He seems like the perfect player. Probably the closest player we can get to Son. A goal scoring left midfielder. I want to do this for 91 million. I'm sure we can get that same money from selling Son as well. This Seems like a no-brainer, weakening a fellow Premier League club as well. There you go, guys. Marcus Rashford is signed. Before even selling Son, we've got his replacement in order. So, there's that. The plan was to kind of sign a player who's in his peak, like Marcus Rashford, because I don't want the transition from going from Son to another player to be too difficult. So, I think Rashford, in that sense, is perfect. Oh, this is sad. I've really enjoyed my football here, and if it was up to me, I wouldn't want to go and play anywhere else. Oh, I feel sad, but Son, it's time to cash in. We did it with Kane. We're going to do it with you. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. Not going to lie, I do find it funny that it's a club that we lost the Champions League final to. That's where Son is heading. RB Leipzig for 93 million. 
Oh boy. Son refused to join RB Leipzig, guys. Interesting. Offer from Aston Villa. He wants to join them, maybe, then. They're putting in more money, so Aston Villa and Hyung Min Son. Interesting. And yup, guys, it's gone through. Hyung Min Son has joined Aston Villa. 155 goals for us. What a legend. All right, guys, that's the team. Harry Kane and Son both have been replaced. That's what we're working with in Season 6 of this TakeOver Spurs Challenge video. Let's sim until the end. This season, Champions League. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. We've won our second Premier League title of this TakeOver. Oh, boy. It's taken us six seasons, but we've done it. We've done it. Two Premier League titles. Let's go. Have we won more trophies, though, this season? We won this pretty convincingly, you know. Six points clear. No, five cleared of Chelsea. Love to see it. Second Premier League title. Carabao Cup. Do we end up winning that? No, that goes to Man United. FA Cup. Yes, we beat Sunderland in the final. Our first FA Cup. That's two trophies, by the way. If we win the Champions League, it'll be a treble. Are we in the final again like last season? We are. It's a repeat of last season. Spurs Leipzig. And I am so glad Son didn't join Leipzig. He's joined Aston Villa, so we don't have to face him. We dismantled Inter, by the way. We absolutely destroyed Atleti. And we humbled Dortmund. We have scored how many? Nine in the round of 16. Another six in the quarters. 15. And another six in the semi. 21 goals in the knockout stages. We've got to win it. Our team is too good to lose back-to-back -back Champions League trophies, man. It literally is too good to lose. And there you go. Signing Rashford has paid off. A brace in the Champions League final. Couldn't have signed a better replacement for Heung-Min Son if I wanted to. That is a treble this season. Look at that, guys. What a signing Marcus Rashford has turned out being. 34 goals this season. Just mental. Lautaro with 22 as well. Paqueta with a solid season. Rafinha did incredibly well, but that's what I call a signing. Marcus Rashford, wow. It certainly is incredible that Son is still our top scorer and top assister, even though he's not here for this sixth season. But I think Lautaro will catch up to that record, and maybe Paqueta or Rafinha will get the top assister record, but we'll see. Trophies-wise, though, two Premier Leagues, an FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and a Champions League. And we've still got four seasons to go. Let's try and win as much as we can. We're just coming off winning the Champions League and our squad, I think everybody's 90 plus rated apart from regular. Unbelievable bench as well. We don't need to make signings right now. We're just going to keep this squad as is and try and win as much as possible until players start going down in their overall. So let's get through another season and see what we can win. All right, we've got a Community Shield final um, to get through. Let's do this. It's the Tin Pot Trophy. Doesn't matter. Nobody cares about this. So we lost to Chelsea, but yeah. It's okay. Ah, oh, we don't have Paqueta for this one. It's the UEFA Super Cup final against Leverkusen. Brian Gill. Why can't he be played? Okay, what's up happening here? I'm a bit confused. Can we just quick sim this game then? Let's see. Quick sim. There you go. I think we can. What's going to happen here? Spurs do end up winning it. It's not the most prestigious of trophies, but UEFA Super Cup has been bagged. Oh, we've won the Premier League again. 77 points and second place is 65. Leeds United close to top four. Where's where the big boys? Man United 10th, Liverpool 11th. This is a very weird Premier League table. Arsenal just about got relegated. Wow. Well, that's our third Premier League trophy. We're on a roll. Back-to-back -back Premier League titles. Do we win any of the Cups? FA Cup goes to Wolves. Fair play. Carabao Cup goes to City. Champions League, though. We're in another final. That's final number three. We've won it once. Can we do it again? It'll be a Prem and a Champions League trophy this season if we can make it happen. We got through Barca. We got through Liverpool. We got through Leverkusen. Let's do it against PSG. They don't have Messi. They've signed Javier. They don't even have Neymar. Our team entirely is 90 plus rated. There's no way we're losing this. And we win it. Let's go, guys. We've beaten PSG in a Champions League final. That's the Prem and the Champions League secured this season. We're racking up trophies. Marcus Rashford, back-to-back -back madness seasons. 36 this season. Lautaro with another good 25-goal season. Rafinha's just the assist king of the team. Unreal. And Dombele, Paqueta has done brilliantly. 
Our team is peaking though, a lot of players hitting the 30 year old mark. We might need to start replacing a few players here and there, but yeah. What a season. Stats-wise, we've got a new top assist, Rafinha, 94 rated, 70 assists now. He is our top assist, but Son is still our top goal scorer. Trophies-wise, um, three Premier Leagues now, two Champions League, an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup. I think we're now, what, seven seasons in? I think we're doing really well. I really think we're doing well. We've got three more seasons to go. Let's keep racking up them trophies. Time for season 8 and even though the squad is aging, as long as we keep winning, there's no reason to make any difference or any changes. We're just gonna rock with this squad, sim through this season and just keep adding up the trophies. If we start declining, that's when we'll step in and start making signings and you know, keep the rebuild going. Three seasons to go, I wanna win the Champions League three times. It's another Community Shield final for us against Wolves and I reckon we should be able to win this and wow, okay, um, back to back seasons of losing this, doesn't matter though. Guys, I think we've cracked the code here with Spurs, we're winning the Premier League on autopilot right now. That sounds how unbelievable our squad is one more season of the prem make that four 88 points as well insane second place arsenal they weren't even close did we win any of the cups we of course lost the community shield do we win the fa cup no that goes to villa carabao cup maybe nah that's goes to chelsea cup competitions hasn't been our thing we did win the uefa super cup though and Champions League win in another final, this time against Chelsea. We knocked out Bayern and all. Epic, let's win another one. Here we go, guys. Final of the Champions League against, of course, Chelsea. As you guys can see, a few ratings have dipped. Hoiberg has gone down to an 89. But apart from that, the ratings are clear. Do I even need to make any signings at this point? We're just winning the Champions League on autopilot. Make that number three. Stats-wise, Lautaro Martinez, he may have leapfrogged Hyungman's son. I'll have to check my notepad and see if he has overtaken him or not, but that's that's going to be interesting to note. Rashford with a big season, assist-wise as well. Paqueta with another strong season, assist-wise. Rafinha did well. Yeah, not too bad. Prem and the Champions League again. We're looking at Lautaro Martinez with 170, a new top scorer in the charts. Son, it's kind of sad that his record's gone, but oh, well, it is what it is. Paqueta, though, 81 assists. And looking at our trophy cabinet now, four Premier League trophies, three Champions Leagues. We're, we're picking up a lot of silverware. Two seasons to go. I want more. I still think for season 9, the player ratings and pretty much the entire squad is more than good enough to get through another season and still possibly win the Champions League. The squad is just OP that we've built, guys. So let's do it. Let's get through another season. And if we win the Champions League this season, it will be back to back to back. A three-beat. Let's do it. We are just built different, guys. That is another Premier League. Is that number five? I think it is. Five Premier League titles in the 10 seasons we've managed Spurs. That's insane. That is honestly insane. Did we win anything else this season? A cheeky community shield as well. Super Cup. Yup, we won that as well again. What about a ZFA Cup? Now nah, that's evident. Cup competitions we've been pretty average i guess oh we won the carabao cup let's go i will certainly take that and what about the champions league we're again in the final oh my god against benfica i told you the team that we've built is perfect all right let's do this boys i'm expecting us to win this and what's gonna happen we win this easily lautaro with the brace and rafinha with the goal let's go lautaro martinez with 28 wasn't rashford's good season paqueta was solid but look at the assists on rafinha in this one 24 oh my what a season from him the battle for the top assisted award is honestly a bit crazy we've got rafinha Hitting 103 assists, a bit more than Paqueta, who's on 94. One final season to decide who wins that, but Lautaro is running away with the top scorer charts. Trophies wise though, have a look at this. Five Premier League titles, four Champions Leagues, two Carabao Cups and one FA Cup. We've got one more season, let's add more. 
Alright, so final season with Spurs, we've already achieved a lot. Last season's just about maybe adding a little more. I reckon we need to make a couple of signings. In fact, just one. I want a CDM, an insane CDM, because Hoiberg has left the club and joined Real Madrid. Um, he was anyway going down massively in his overall, so it's fine. So, yep, final season, CDM is what we're going to get. I might just spend, well, we've got 768 million, which is mad. But yeah, let's see who we bring. This is easily our last signing that we're making of this challenge. Sandro Tonali to replace Hoiberg. I just couldn't find a super high rated CDM. So 87, good enough. I know he's 30, but still, we just need him for one season. So I'm okay with it. All right, let's quickly put Tonali in the lineup. Where's he gone? Squad's a bit thin though this season. I think players have retired and all, but you know what? It's the final season. Let's sim until the end. And I still think we've got a good shot at winning everything. Wait, what? Final season, ninth in the Premier League. Good thing we're not doing any more seasons because we won't be in the Champions League. Wow, that's bad. That's bad. Do we win any trophies this season? Arsenal won the FA Cup. We won the Community Shield though on penalties. I'll take that. Carabao Cup. United won that. UEFA Super Cup. We won that. So let's go. Champions League. This makes no... How do we make the Champions League final but we're ninth in the Premier League? We got through Liverpool somehow on penalties. We got through Vitesse in the quarters. Yeah, we had a very easy run. We had a very easy run in the Champions League. Anyways, in the final against Inter, let's win it one final time. All right, boys, here we go. Final Champions League. I feel like we've been in this Champions League final like every season since like season five. And let's win it. Let's make it five trophies. And there you go. It's done. Five Champions Leagues. I'm pretty sure. Let me just quickly check how many we've won. In fact, we'll take a look at that when we look at the trophy count. But that's the final season. And we've won the Champions League. Mad. Lautaro Martinez at the age of 33 has dropped a 39 goal season. That is, that is seriously commendable, guys. Rashford did well. Brian Gill, I think, had more of an involvement this season, did well in our final season. Rafinha with 18 assists officially will be top assister. There you go. Final look at the stats and Lautaro Martinez takes home the top scorer award. 237 goals throughout the challenge. Rafinha with 131 assists. Incredible stats all round, boys. Ten seasons. Lautaro played pretty much half of it. Kane played half. But Lautaro is just unreal. Unreal stats. And Rafinha, fair play. 131 assists. That's mental. And here's a final look at our trophy count. Five Premier League trophies. Five Champions Leagues. In ten seasons, that's really commendable. An FA Cup and a couple of Carabao Cups as well. We'll take it. That This is a very successful 10 season takeover. And with that, guys, the 10 season takeover is complete with Spurs. Had an absolute blast recording this one. And if you guys are excited for more 10 season takeovers, you know what to do. Drop a like on this one. Subscribe if you're new around here as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.